Hey there, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Fortnite Tree Poster, which is a program to use many stuff like item shops, news, shop sections, or anything else that's Fortnite related, and it's very simple to use, and I'm going to tell you how to set it up. The first thing I want to do is go into Chrome or any other browser of your choice and go to this website right here. It's going to be linked in the description, and you're going to want to go up to here where it says clone and click download zip. It's going to go and download this zip right here. As you see, you have this folder. What you're going to want to do with this folder is just drag it to your desktop, so... Let's go drag it to my desktop real quick. We're going to drag it down here. Um, I already have it on, so drag it to your desktop, and then it should look something like this. I'm just going to go and remove all of the unnecessary stuff real quick, so I can go and show you what it's going to look like when you first get it. So, when you first get the program, it should look something like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is click Install Packages. What this does is it goes and installs all of the required requirements that you need as you see, I already have them, so just click continue. Also, make sure you have Python installed. The link to that will be also in the description below. Once you run that, you can go and open treeposter.py. And if that doesn't run, you can go and download Visual Studio Code. And this is what you should do anyways. So download, uh, download Visual Studio Code. Other, also, it's linked in the description. And what you're going to want to do is drag in your folder into Visual Studio Code, like so drag it in and then as you see it's right there i already have it dragged in so here it is as you see when you click on it it's going to look something like this so click on your uh tree poster.py and it should look something like this as you see right here the program looks like this and you have your twitter api keys right here all of these four ones you can get by going to chrome and going to twitter developer look up twitter developer and click the first option and you're going to want to go and sign in with your Twitter account, so let's go and do that. If it doesn't let you sign in, you can go try it again, and as you see now, I'm signed in. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down to Apply, and click Apply for a Developer Account. Now what we're going to want to do is click um, a hobbyist, and you're going to do Bitter, and you can click anyone you want. I'm just going to click Making a Bot, because that is what I'm going to use this for. Now, you're going to click What Country Do You Live In? I live in the United States, so we're going to click that. Should be up here, maybe down here. Uh, United States. Here we go, and we're gonna do fevers, and we're gonna click that. We're gonna click next, and now you're gonna go and enter these requirements right here. These are basically just questions on what you're gonna use the API for. So, in your words, please explain how you use Twitter data and APIs. So you can just do, I am using this api for fortnite item shop something like that and then over here is specific so how do you plan on analyzing twitter data i'm going to turn that off because we're not analyzing twitter data our program will use tweeting so we're going to do my program will use tweeting my program will be using tweeting by tweeting and then you can just do something like that and then we're also not going to display tweet that's on Twitter, so check that off. And then over here, check that off. And then just fill out the rest of the requirements. I'm not going to fill this out, but then once you get it, you are going to have your API keys. So I'm going to go and show you what it's going to look like with API keys. Let me go and do that one second. Alrighty, so once you have your API keys, it's going to look like this. And you're going to see that option up there that says, the that says developer portal. You're going to click on developer portal and this should pop up. What you're going to do now is click projects and apps and you're going to click overview. As you see right here, I already have a bot, but you're going to want to click a new project. Name your project, I'm just going to name it Tweet Poster Test, and you're going to click Next. You're then going to go down, and you're going to click Making a Bot, click Next, and then just enter a description, I'm just going to do for Fortnite Tweets. Click Next, and then you can choose your app. I'm just going to uh, choose Fever's Bot, or you can go and create a new app. I'm just going to go and create a new app, and we're going to go and call this Tweeting. So this is what the actual... Um, thing like on twitter it's gonna look like so let me actually show you an example real quick as you see if you go to this tweet right here down there it says twitter web hub this is what it's actually gonna say so we're just gonna do twitter for fortnite or something like that click complete and then as you see we now have oh that name is already taken so we're just gonna do tweet uh we're gonna do fortnite's tweet poster we're gonna do v1 and we're gonna click complete and now once you click complete here are your tokens so now, as you see, you have your tokens. We're not going to go and do this, so we're just going to click. So we're just going to click App Settings. What you're going to do now is click this right here, Keys and Tokens. And what you're going to want to do is click View Keys on API in Secret. Uh, these aren't actually my tokens. I'm just going to delete this app after this. So 
it means nothing. But what you're going to want to do is open up a notepad. And you're going to want to go and paste these in. So let's go and do that real quick. This is our API key. We're going to get our API secret key. We're going to click yes, I saved them. And now, as you see down here, we have our access and secret token. Click generate, and now you have your access and secret. So now we have our access and secret token. Now what you're going to want to do, and this is a very important part, you're going to want to go over to settings. You're going to want to click edit on the, under app positions and you're going to click read write and direct messages click yes and it's just going to go and change the positions on that so what that's going to do is it's going to let it actually post the tweets so now you finish the first step on that so now what you can do is go into fortnite tweet poster my actual api keys are in there and you're going to want to fill it out for twitter api key twitter secret twitter token and twitter um and Twitter secret and then you want to go and fill in your username and your supporter creator code if you don't have a supporter creator code you just leave that blank um so yeah once you're done with that what you're going to do is just go and click run start debugging in python file and then down here it should start running so now as you see it says your current date it says the current updates and the most recent update was on january 5th which is two days ago so, the most recent update included updated notices with Fortnite API. Credits to Caser Fire for making that. It also says welcome to the Fortnite tweet poster and it says your name. It says uh, the version you were on and it also says what you want to tweet today. As you see right here, there's like 20 different options of what to tweet. So, as you see, we can post the Fortnite item shop, post the Fortnite news. We can post any text we want. We can post the version, post the leaks, post AES map. Uh, we can post the news. We can post the season bar, staging, sack. So, we're just going to run a test real quick. We're going to go on to Twitter right here and we're going to go and run a test we can go put this on another tab also so as you see what we're going to do is we're going to go and run the shop command so click shop and it's going to run the shop it's going to open it it's going to save it and it's going to tweet it and now as you see if you go to twitter there you go this is the current fortnite item shop and this is all uh manual we're going to have an automatic version soon but as you can see it's really cool so to run it again you're just going to go up here and click the run button and then there you go, it's running again. So we can go and run this again, and we can just do another command. So let's go and try, um, uh, let's try the staging command. As you see down here, it grabs the staging number, and it says the staging servers are in 15.0. We can click Y, and it's gonna go and tweet it to our Twitter. So there you go, and there it goes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna delete that. So this can literally do anything you want. We're gonna go and try another one real quick. We're gonna try leaks. So it's going to go and save the current leaks. We're going to tweet it to Twitter and it grabs the current leaks. Uh, I'm not really sure what the most recent leaks are. Uh, so yeah, these are the mo these are the most recent leak skins, but usually it just grab. But what it does is it just grabs the most recently leaked skins. So this is the most recently leaked skins. It's these weird skins. So we're just going to delete that real quick. Uh, let's go run it again. Let's look at the commands. We have uh, the map. So let's try to post the current map. We're going to go uh, with names because we want to see it with names. It's going to go, oh, save without names. I think it, oh, wait, no, uh, I meant without. But yeah, as you can see there, it posts with names and there you go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can also try that news command. So let's go post news. And as you see, it saves the image, saves the image, and then it treats it. And then there you go. It's very, very, very simple to set up. And it literally just does this all automatically for you. It's very easy to use, and I and I really recommend doing this. Uh, we can also do something like search for an item. So let's go and run this again. We can do search, and it's going to say, what cosmetic do you want to export? So let's just export um, Peely. Because Peely is a nice cosmetic. It's going to go and save it. There you go. And now it says all the information. We can go tweet out this cosmetic also. So there you go, and it's now tweeting the uh, cosmetic that you put in. So this grabs the cosmetic that you put in. So for example, if there's a new encrypted cosmetic that came out, you can go and tweet that. So that's really cool. Um, I also just added a new command called uh, the fish command and also the notices command. So let's go type in fish. I didn't put it on this version yet. This is uh, an older version, but let's go type notices. As you see right here, we're going to go and type v2. And there you go, you have the most recent Fortnite notice, so that's really cool. We're going to go and tweet that out. And then once again, it tweets it out. There you go. So yeah, this program has like 25, this program has like 20 plus different commands that you can use, which is really, really good. Um, if you, um, 
if you have a Fortnite Twitter, or if you're a leaker or a data miner, or even if you haven't, um, or even if you aren't like a leaker or a data miner, this is really easy to set up and this is really easy to use. And if you want to get into um, the leaking business, I would really recommend getting this because this is a great way to start out. Very easy to use and I would really recommend using it. So yeah, this is basically a way to post the item shop, the news, the text, anything you want. So this is pretty much an all-in-one program, an all-in-one tutorial, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if it helped, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also make sure to use my code 7 10 in the Fortnite item shop. I hope you have a good day and goodbye. I'll see you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.